New York City's rents could be reaching their peak prices, but residential leases are low. Everyone was expecting the market to explode for fall. The feds did not increase the interest rates last week. Interest rate headwinds that are affecting our marketplace. Okay. And we're still almost 50% down from pre-COVID. As the employment in NYC finally recovers from the pandemic, a triumph of over 97%, see the dynamics in real estate changing like a landslide, or is it? If you are a keen Alice staring onto the whole of NYC real estate, this video is your absolute wonderland. From the worst mistakes to the most blazing hot opportunities, we will cover it all. Make sure to not skip a beat. Market Insights, what's going on in NYC? Today, we're talking about homes, sweet homes in the Big Apple, New York City. No fancy intros needed, so let's dive right in. In August 2023, here's the scoop. New York home prices took a little dip, about 0.61% down from the previous year. The typical home in NYC is now going for around $820,000. It's not exactly a clearance sale, but it's worth noting. Now, when you're ready to sell or buy, here's the lowdown. Homes are hanging around on the market for an average of 60 days. That's longer than the 48 days it used to be. So if you're selling, be prepared to wait a tad longer. And if you're buying, you might have a bit more time to shop around. In terms of sales, recently 3,106 homes changed hands. That's down from 3,797 homes sold in the same month the previous year. So yeah, there's been a bit of a slowdown in the real estate hustle and bustle. Now, let's talk about moving. Between June and August, 30% of home buyers in New York were considering packing their bags and heading elsewhere. But 70% were staying within the New York metropolitan area. It's a bit of a mixed bag as some folks are exploring new horizons while others are loving the NYC vibe. When it comes to where people are coming from, only 3% of home buyers were thinking about relocating to New York from outside metro areas, Buffalo, Cedar Rapids, and San Francisco were the top contenders. But when New Yorkers decide to leave, 70% prefer to stay close. Miami, Philadelphia, and Washington DC are the hot spots for those looking for a change of scenery. So there you have it, a straightforward look at the NYC real estate scene. Prices have softened a bit, homes are taking a bit longer to sell, and the number of homes changing hands has dipped slightly. Plus, New Yorkers are split on whether to stay or go and they have some interesting choices when they do decide to move. It's all part of the exciting world of real estate. All right, now check this out. In the summer of 23, 30% of New York home buyers decided, you know what, I need a change of scenery. They were ready to leave the city. Meanwhile, the other 70% were like, no, I'm staying put in the metropolitan area. Now, when people from other parts of the country thought about moving to the Big Apple, it turns out only 3% said, why not try New York? It's like a tiny sprinkle of newcomers in the city. But here's the funny part. Buffalo homebuyers were leading the charge. They were followed by people from Cedar Rapids and San Francisco. It's like they all wanted a slice of the NYC pie. And when New Yorkers decided to leave, a massive 70% said, we're not going far, just nearby. They wanted to stick around the New York metropolitan area. But here's the kicker. Miami was the clear winner in the where are New Yorkers going game. New York home buyers were flocking to Miami for some sunshine and vibes. Philadelphia and Washington also made the list as popular destinations. This not only shows the upcoming demand in Miami, but also reflects what even the people of New York are up to. Mission Miami. Neighborhood picks. What are blazing hot ones? Let's make this real estate tour across New York a bit more fun and easy to digest. First stop, Buffalo. It's like a time machine with older homes from before World War II. And guess what? A bunch of those are small apartment buildings built for folks who wanted to live close to work. So if you're thinking about investing in Buffalo, you could buy a whole small apartment building for the price of one fancy property in NYC. Talk about a deal. Next up is Syracuse. It's the budget-friendly choice in the New York real estate game. You get more bang for your buck here, and the job market isn't too shabby either. People are actually moving in, not out, and that's a good sign. No ghost towns here. Now, let's chat about Albany. It's like the quiet achiever in the real estate world. 
Not as famous as NYC, but it's steadily climbing up the ladder. Lots of folks are sticking around, making it a hotbed for renters. So if you're looking for an affordable entry point, Albany could be your ticket. Last but not least, Rochester. It's like the steady eddy of real estate, slow and steady appreciation, good ROI, and a job market that's not going anywhere. Plus, there's a healthy mix of peeps, including families and cost-conscious residents. So even if NYC has a meltdown, Rochester is here to stay. A practical tip. For searching up any of the neighborhoods mentioned above, just search up Redfin next to the city's name, let's say Syracuse Redfin in this case, and this will show up all of the available houses in the neighborhood. Employment, a key cornerstone. This year, New York City marked a significant milestone by recovering 97% of the jobs lost during the pandemic, indicating a resilient job market. However, the city's unemployment rate held steady at 5.3%, slightly higher than the rest of New York State, which stood at 3% in the same month. On the job front, New York State added 4,900 private sector jobs, contributing to a total non-farm job increase of 18,100, while nationally, the economy saw the addition of 179,000 private sector jobs. These figures underscore the close relationship between employment and the New York City real estate market, with job recovery acting as a positive catalyst despite the relatively higher local unemployment rate. Renting Outlook For renters, there's some good news. Due to factors like higher renting costs and inflation, renter demand may cool in 2023 or at the start of 2024, which could lead to lower asking rents. However, this change might take a while to fully materialize due to limited rental unit availability. Roommate arrangements could become more common to offset costs, but NYC renters are willing to pay extra to avoid sharing space. Rentals and affordable housing options. While it's hard to say, New York is one of the few places where the word affordable does not really work that well, says Mr. Myth or nobody. The fact is, there are plenty many, here are some of the options that you can check out on nyc.gov. Number one, affordable apartments for all. NYC's got a plan with HPD and friends to offer affordable apartments for folks of different incomes and family sizes. It's like getting a good deal on a comfy place to live. Number two, NYC Housing Connect. Think of this as your one-stop shop for affordable housing in the city. You can learn how to apply, check out available places, and fill out your application online. It's like scoring tickets to your favorite show, but instead, it's a cozy place to call home. Number three, Mitchell Llama Magic. The Mitchell Llama program is all about affordable rentals and co-op housing for middle-income families. On NYC Mitchell Llama Connect, you can see which spots are up for grabs, update your info, and toss your name into the hat for a chance to win. It's like entering a cool contest with a chance to win a sweet place to live. Number four, HDC Housing Hub. HDC is like the superhero of affordable housing. They help create and keep affordable homes for New Yorkers of all income levels. Head to their website and click on Apply for Housing to find out about rentals and buying options. It's like having a secret treasure map to affordable housing in the city. Experts call opinion. According to Forbes, in the second quarter of this year, New York City's real estate market was giving our stock market a run for its money in the drama department. The ultra-luxury apartments you know, the ones that make you feel like royalty, were taking their sweet time finding buyers. Even the smaller units, which were the cool kids in April and May, suddenly decided to join the snooze fest in June. Those one- and two-bedroom properties that were like hotcakes in April, well, They've been sitting there twiddling their thumbs. It's like they're waiting for the real estate equivalent of a swanky party invite. Now, you might wonder why this slowdown when the economy's doing a little happy dance since the start of the year. Well, it's a classic case of buyers and sellers playing a game of what's it worth. And let's be honest, they're not quite on the same page yet. It's like trying to haggle with your kid over the value of their toy collection. It's all fun and games, but nobody's budging just yet. Recap and actionable steps. It is no secret that the NYC real estate market is known for its long-term investment potential. 
Over the past decade, home prices nearly doubled, with an annual average appreciation rate of 6.1%. This suggests a strong track record for growth. On the flip side, NYC continues to attract new residents, driven by strong rental demand from outside the city. The city's impressive recovery, with 97% of lost employment restored by September, adds to its appeal. Current real estate metrics show an average home value of $715,000 with homes typically going pending in about 26 days. A competitive market is evident with over half of sales going over the list price. Looking ahead, Zillow projects a 1.7% increase in the NYC real estate market over the next year, indicating a positive outlook for potential buyers. So is it a good time to buy in NYC? Well, with projected market growth and competitive conditions, it could be a favorable opportunity. But it's crucial to assess your unique situation, consult with experts, and stay informed about market trends for a well-informed decision. And hey, don't forget to subscribe as we bring the most trending, affordable opportunities for you every once in a while. We will come up with yet another blazing hot opportunity. Until then, sayonara.